The 2016 political conventions are in the books, and while there were dramatic differences between the two, the Democratic and Republican events shared more common ground than you may think. Both conventions featured historically unpopular candidates whose campaigns tried to humanize them by bringing out their families. And it was the candidates' daughters, Ivanka Trump and Chelsea Clinton, who ultimately introduced the nominees. Also present at both conventions, boos and chants from passionate attendees. But notably absent from the Republican convention, political royalty. Unlike the DNC, where three former presidents, a vice president, and a first lady addressed the audience, the RNC merely featured a wave from a former presidential nominee. Speaking of political figures, both vice presidential picks were overshadowed on the nights of their big debuts. Republican Governor Mike Pence's address was muted by Texas Senator Ted Cruz, who stirred the pot when he refused to endorse Donald Trump. Why was I booing? Because I wanted to mention Trump's name. Democratic VP, Virginia Senator Tim Kaine, had the misfortune of speaking between political heavyweights Joe Biden and Barack Obama. Inside the conventions, companies handed out the same swag. Facebook set up the same mini oval. Twitter featured the same blue room. Outside, the protests were dramatically different, but far more peaceful than expected. And while star power doesn't necessarily translate to votes, the Democrats lined up way more A-listers. The Republicans turned out celebrities who weren't nearly as famous as Donald Trump. The DNC brought out Katy Perry, Alicia Keys, Lenny Kravitz, Lena Dunham, Deborah Messing, and Elizabeth Banks, just to name a few.